Abakiare has released a press statement by saying, It is my chance to relax after 11 years of fighting against deadly killers. Kiare you know, stated on his suspension. The embattled Nigerian police officer Abba Kiare has written to appreciate Nigerians for their support since the news of his indictment and the $1.1 million fraud deal by a U.S. court became public knowledge. Abba Kiare now is you know, writing to Nigerians to even appreciate them you know, for his 11 years you know, of, uh, of surmounting you know, use and uh, trying to conquer you know the menace of insecurity and fighting banditry and terrorism in nigeria that is coming from abba kiare the dcp and uh, the deputy commissioner of police who was you know indicted and also you know challenged an alleged fraud of 1.1 million dollar fraud with uh, with a uh, osh poppy aka abbas you know the embattled Nigerian police officer Abba Kiare has written to appreciate Nigerians for their support since the news of his indictment and the $1.1 million fraud deal by a United States court became public knowledge. Hmm. So that's coming from uh, Abba Kiare. But there are some words that are needed to be heard. Uh, knowledge, knowledge everywhere, yet still we don't know how to think, intending to keep us afloat. But deeper into death we sink. We weigh and what weighs us down are not the facts that we need in order to survive. What's drowning us are mountains of the knowledge of why we are alive. When 50 years or so ago my own life jacket fell apart, once more I searched the mountains for perhaps another place to start. So with a failure in my mind, I searched for knowledge that will pass, but what I found while looking was in fact the mountains have no mass, which is the knowledge and essential fact and rhymed also by an old fashion. Well, Abakiyare has given us a statement by saying he has, you know, lived a life and fulfilled one at that. Well, notwithstanding, he said with his 11 years of experience in fighting terrorism, you know, right from uh, the SAS, which is a special anti-robbery squad, being the leader of that you know, uh, a Department of the State uh, Service of Police, you know, um, force. That's what he has said, and he has released his appreciation statement. Well, in a recent Facebook post, and also released by the APC chieftain, Joe Ibokwe, Abba Kiyari described his suspension from the Nigerian police force as an opportunity for him to rest after 11 years of non-stop fight against deadly criminals and killers in the country. He appreciated his colleagues in the office and also described them as his brothers and friends he does not take for granted. Hmm. Well, maybe people have been saying uh, these northern people and Fulani people, uh, they behave like cow. When you want to write a retirement you know, statement or your biography, uh, is this the way to rest? You are not resting, you are going to prison and you are telling us you are resting. So what you are, you are writing now, you are telling us uh, uh, is an opportunity for you to rest after 11 years of non-stop fight against deadly criminal and uh, killers in the country. So you are resting. You are not resting. You are being indicted or being alleged that you are into fraud. So your name is in a black book record of word Guinness, a Guinness word of record as in fraud star. That's what it means. So if someone is writing or like a professor or a retired, you know, army chief or a retired government officials. If you want to rest, you drop your pen with a gratuity. Nobody is paying you gratuity. No pension is being paid to you or no pension will be paid to you. It's either you'll be handcuffed to the prison and you are telling us you want to rest. Well, I don't believe if Kiari has written this or maybe it's Joe Igokwe that is just insinuating. Because Joe Igokwe is also an animal. I don't know maybe he's mocking this man or not. That by telling him he is going to rest, or uh, by saying or buttressing what Abakiari has said, that he's resting. What are you resting for? Is either you go to prison and you know go and meet hoodlums in the prison. Well, I believe U.S. or United States prison is not like the Nigerian prison. 
so you are going there to rest truly and enjoy even when us puppy was still in uh, the custody of uh, uh, the fbi he was still you know pinging you know chatting his clients you know because he was not you know has not been a, 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 a predicted guilty or there was no verdict on him yet that is why but as it is now he has pleaded guilty and you know things has changed and it's going to be unraveled so they will put him in prison and he is entitled to 20 years imprisonment if kiari also is found guilty of the alleged charge he will spend 20 years imprisoned well he said he appreciated his colleagues in the office and also described them as his brothers and friends and he does not take for granted so he's appreciating them that he does not take them for granted and he really you know being grateful to all uh, what the nigerian government has done i believe they have even you know elevated abakiari to the post of a super cop and the northern elders and the northern cabals which is the fulani and the buari administration they are even trying to make abakiari the next inspector general of police well with his antecedent i believe he was the position because it's a very very you know hard working an agile police officer because during the NSAS pro, uh, protest because the he was the one leading the SAS which is the special anti-robbery squad but the antecedent one was not too good for the Nigerian pu public that is why it was disbanded well furthermore Abakiyari maintained his defense according to him all he has said is the truth and nothing but the truth he wrote all those who knows me closely know that I darest lie. Everything I say and post is the truth. The truth on this issue will come out soonest to clear all doubts. Well, lastly, Abakiari urged his supporters and family members not to be confrontational, but to remain calm while thanking God for all his blessings. Well, I, either you say the truth or you tell lies. Is left for you so you are a man you can defend yourself in the court of law so FBI or the court in America knows how to deal with criminals but since you have not been you know convicted yet so you are still a suspect so I don't think you are a criminal yet until the court say so well according to somebody says you are fighting crime sectionally only in the southern part Killing innocent indigenous people and Fulani, your brothers, are untouched. What happened to the northern part of the country where bandits, Fulani, Etsme, and Boko Haram have taken over their villages and town, hosting their flags without clapping on them? Well, criminal super cop, my foot. Well, everybody's entitled to his, his, his or her opinion. For the fact that I don't like what the Fulani people are doing in this country and the Buhari administration does not really mean I should castigate Abba Kiyari. He's just still a suspect. He has not been, you know, in a, a declared a criminal yet and he has not pleaded guilty. Well, let's see how things unfold as he goes to USA to defend himself, you know, with FBI. Well, I would like you to kindly, you know, click on that bell icon to get notification as soon as so many news comes in from Independent TV7.